Hi and welcome back to the channel. Um, we've got a little bonus video um, today. I know it's not the usual day of the week for a video, but I just thought I'd show um, the small amount of progress I've managed recently on building um, the Earl uh, that we've been working on recently. So this is the the first steam locomotive I, I ever drove. I did a driver experience day um, a number of years ago now uh, and drove the Earl the full length of the line and back uh, on the Welsh Pool and Lanfair Light Railway. Um, and we've been working on this now, there's been a, a number of videos uh, one of the things I've been looking at was replacing the smoke box um, if you remember the original part is white metal um, but the cutout on the back isn't big enough to take the whole diameter of the of the boiler uh, and there are numerous issues with the length of the boiler and the body and the chassis and things so I decided that the easiest option would be to create a new uh, smoke box part that was big enough to take the full diameter of the boiler and then you could position things at the right length. Um, and even after some careful measuring of the original white metal part, uh, I had some issues, uh, mostly about getting the smoke box door to fit. As you can see, this is a this is a white metal part and it has a kind of boss on the back. Uh, and I me measured the boss, I measured the hole in the white metal part and I still managed to mess it up numerous times. Um, but I've now got this so that it's a nice push fit into the part and obviously when it, when it's glued in place it will it will stay nice and uh, nice and central um, so yeah so you can see essentially uh, there's a hole in the top for the white metal chimney to fit um, it's quite close the hole is quite close to uh, where I've got this more solid central ring um, that means the, the hole for the for the, the chimney kind of gets slightly broken when you push it in um, doesn't matter it holds nice and it's completely solid and again, once it's glued in, it won't it won't affect things. Um, I've positioned the the central piece at the depth I have, partly so that it fits nicely for the boiler fitting in, but also because it's exactly the right position to hold um, the captive nuts. So one of the flat sides of the Tembia bolt uh, fits into this gap nicely, uh, which means it's nice it's nice and easy to kind of push it in and center it and, and pull it down. Um, and that means you don't actually have to even glue glue the bolt in this one's just kind of push fit in but when it's screwed in it forms a really nice um, positive uh, attachment to the rest of the local because the bolt can't the nut can't spin round in the hole um, it's nicely nicely shaped so this fits nicely um, it's got bolt detail round the side you can just about make that out on the camera um, that means that this version matches the white metal part exactly um, I even counted off the number of bolts um, which means that this is for the kind of the rebuilt version um, of the loco. It was originally apparently the smoke box didn't have bolts, but when it was rebuilt uh, at one point in its life, um, and it, it got a, a, bolt, a, a smoke box that was that was kind of fabricated with bolts, um, and that's how it is today as well. So that represents kind of the preservation version, which is what I'm trying to building build. Um, I also have printed off. Um, just to check some parts that don't have the bolt detail. So if you, if I was wanting to uh, model the original loco, I could do uh, without bolt detail. So this is a part that actually isn't in the original kit. Um, obviously, if you'd wanted to, you could have filed the bolts off the off the white metal part. Um, but yeah, where we go, we've um, so that that's now finished uh, entirely. So if you happen to be building one of these kits and um, want the convenience of being able to get the body the right length and stuff without having to cut the white metal parts or, or anything like that then um, I'll put a link in the description uh, to my parts contact form um, let me know and I can um, I can organize printing some of these off I've actually got a whole bunch in in stock already so I've got uh, this is another one with the bolt detail um, so I've got some kicking around uh, that I can get in the post to people um, if they if if it's if that's useful uh for people people building the kit i know i've had a couple of people already um, where i've posted them out already through uh modeling forums um but i know at least one person in the comments to previous videos asked about uh part availability so yeah so this this part is now is now available um should should people want one um as i say details will be in the description um i'm not sure again how much more progress i'll make in the near future on this kit um, I'm having to have a think about the the piston rods and crosshead. Um, 
I mentioned if you watched the last video um, I did, I did a review of a new fine feed attachment for my lathe, uh, specifically for the milling column. Um, and I bought that in part because I think I might have to make some replacement cross heads in the kit, which if I could see the box, apologies for the noise, um, the kit has the, let's see if I can find one, uh, they're in here somewhere. The there we go. The crosshead and um, piston rod are all one piece, or part of the crosshead at least, the back. Um, so here we go. Um, so this is the kind of back of the white metal piece. So um, obviously piston rod goes into the in and out of the cylinder. Crosshead slides on the slide bars. That's why these these thin edges so that I find the right edge. Um, they fit this is the this weird loop shape thing is the um, is the slide bars and you can see if I drop it on if I can get it in um, it will you get it right it's difficult when I'm looking through the lens finder you find it there we go um, it fits on those and then slides kind of backwards and forwards I think I've got that the wrong way around but it, you, you get the general impression it sits nicely uh, but the problem is that <clears throat> these a I'm worried slightly about the white metal wearing if it gets a lot of use um, Focus again. Um, yeah, man. Focus. There we go. I'm worried about it wearing slightly, but also this piston rod. The, the actual cross head itself. The, the, this piece isn't too bad, but this piston rod is very, very soft. The gentlest touch, and it bends, uh, and then I have to straighten it out. So I'm worried about it kind of buckling, uh, especially if there's any kind of um, issues with the motion while it's being uh, put together. I'm worried about it kind of sliding into the cylinder and then uh, and then buckling. Um, so what well, I've got two options one um, I could cut the piston rod off and then um, attach probably by epoxy because I can't necessarily solder to the white metal easily um, some replacement rod that would be thick which would be not necessarily any thicker but would be um, less likely to bend if I got some uh, sensible sensible rod or the other option is to mill replacement parts I'd still have to um, I'd be able to then solder the rod onto a replacement milled nickel silver uh, part. I mean, it's not a particularly complex shape, but obviously have to mill it out of something, you know, a, a long strip and I could mill the edges and then cut it down size and mill out this recess for the uh, piston, well, I don't know what you call it. It's not a piston rod, um, connecting rod, I guess. Um, that would go from here onto one of the wheels um, so it would slide as the wheel rotates the rod goes in and out um, but yeah so um, I'm still thinking about the way forward for this obviously if I cut off this piston rod I'm gonna have to then make alternatives there's nothing I can do about it but you can see this one even isn't doesn't look particularly straight in the camera um, so yeah so I mean two minds about that so I'm currently kind of things are a bit kind of paused on this kit while I um, work out where I'm going which is kind of why I did this as a kind of um, slight bonus video um, just so that you had some updates and I could um, show the uh, the completed uh, print I'm really happy with this it, it works really well as I say if I can find the, the white metal one here and here so here are the two the two parts the white metal and the printed one um, you see from this side identical from the back uh, mine has a bigger cutout in the back so that it will take the full damage with the boiler rather than just the lip at the front. Um, I've got a better, slightly better, I think, arrangement for the for the bolt on this one. You had to essentially glue the bolt into the part. There wasn't enough space for it to kind of be completely captured on its own. Uh, but again, bolt detail uh, around the edge uh, matches nicely. So yeah, so as I say, if you want one, um, let me know details in the comments. And as soon as I have any more progress to report, there'll be a proper a proper video. Um, with some hopefully progress of actual motion and wheels and things turning around and moving. Um, but until then, um, thanks. And uh, yeah, as I say, if you want to want to make sure you don't miss that when it happens, uh, hit the subscribe button. Um, thanks.